So BlueStacks has finally come to the Apple Silicon Mac. And this is one of the best ways to run Android mobile games on the Mac desktop, especially if you have an Apple Silicon chip, for example, an M1, M2, M3, or M4 chip, then this is gonna be the video for you. And what's fantastic is that BlueStacks Air, which is the version built for Apple Silicon, is absolutely free and it's currently in beta right now. So definitely make sure to try this out. So in this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you the full tutorial on how to get this to work. We're gonna be installing the emulator. We're gonna be configuring it for the best possible performance for your Apple Silicon Mac. We're gonna be installing a bunch of games, including titles like Genshin Impact, PUBG Mobile, Pokemon TCG. And this is gonna be one of the best ways to run Minecraft Bedrock. So if you wanna to connect to other worlds created by smartphone users or console Minecraft players, then this is gonna work great. And we have a bunch of other mobile titles that work pretty well and plenty of other games too. So first thing I'm gonna do is to download BlueStacks Air. I'm gonna leave a link to this at the top of this video description. So make sure to click on that link. Every time someone downloads this for absolutely free, it's gonna to help to support this channel and the content that I create. So once we follow the link, I'm gonna go and click on this download BlueStacks button. I'm gonna download this for the first time. I'm gonna put this into our downloads folder in Finder. So just download that. I'm gonna minimize this. So next what we're gonna do is to go to our Finder icon here, and then we're gonna to go to our downloads folder, and then we're gonna find the BlueStacks PKG, which we're gonna double click on. And then this is gonna go through the installer. So all we're gonna do now is press continue, continue, install, enter your password, so this is the password that you use to log into your Mac, press install software, and now that's installing. So this is writing files, running package scripts, and once that's validated, we can press close here, and then we'll press the keep button, and then we'll go to Finder, go to our applications folder, and then we're gonna scroll down until we find BlueStacks. So this is BlueStacks Air right here. Just double click on this. And now we can press the allow button, we can close this notification and uh, it's playing this video for us now so we're going to allow BlueStacks to find devices on the local network and just kind of demonstrating what BlueStacks is capable of on the Mac so once we're here we can install games from this method but what I'm also going to do is to log into the Google Play Store so what I'm going to do is to click on this home button on the top of menu bar of the app and then we're going to go to system apps and then I'm going to go to the Play Store here and we're gonna sign in to a Google Play account. So here we're gonna do is to click the sign in button and then we're gonna log into our Google account. So just type in the email address and password of your Google account and then we'll log in. So we're not gonna turn on contact syncing. We're not gonna back up the device, press accept. And now we're logged into our Google account and then we'll go ahead and install a bunch of Android games on the Mac. So one thing that I do recommend doing is going into settings and then just tweaking some graphics and performance settings. So CPU allocation, it's defaulting to four CPU cores. Generally speaking for gaming, that's probably all you need. By default as well, it's gonna go for four gigabytes of RAM. Because I have a 40 gigabyte machines, I'm gonna actually select a higher RAM allocation. And then we're gonna select a high performance mode. And we're gonna click display FPS during gameplay so I can see what the performance is like. Press save changes. And we can restart now. And it's gonna restart the entire virtual machine. There are other settings that we can also tweak as well. For example, under display, I'm recording this under 1080p. So that's what, so that's the resolution I've selected. And we're using high DPI. So you can tweak these settings too, as well as which graphics renderer to use. So you want the more advanced one, OpenGL ES 3.1 and above. So what I'm gonna do is to click on this home button on the top of menu bar of the app. So now what I'm gonna do is go back to the store button here. So one game we're gonna be installing in Skenshin Impact. So just do a search here. And we want the local version here, not the cloud version. Let's play this one here. And then we're gonna press install from Google Play. And then we're gonna press the install button. And then this is gonna download Genshin Impact. So now Genshin Impact, the app has downloaded. So we're gonna click on Genshin Impact here and it's gonna go ahead and launch. So when you launch a game, it might ask you to grant accessibility access. So I'm gonna click on read instructions here. And we have a pop-up that what we're gonna do is to click open system settings, and then we're gonna grant BlueStacks permission and accessibility. And then we're gonna grant permission to BlueStacks. So just toggle BlueStacks on here, and then click on use password, type in your Mac login password and click modify settings, and then that's done. So if you get stuck on this, you can always find this by going to Apple logo here, system settings, and then scroll down to privacy and security, then go to accessibility here, and then make sure that BlueStacks is turned on. So here what we're gonna do is type in our username and password and then log in. So here it's asking us to verify. What I'm gonna do is go into the email account that was 
registered with Genshin Impact with a Hoyoverse account. And then what we're going to do is to agree to all the terms of service, press accept. I'm going to select our region now, we're going to select Europe, and uh, it's now logging us in. So I'm going to press tap to begin, and then it's going to check for updates, and then basically start downloading the entire game. So this is actually 31 gigabytes in size, so just wait for that to finish before we can continue to the next step. So this is now coming up to 100%. Now it's saying verifying file integrity and now it's saying preparing to load. So this is now ready to play. So we can press tap to begin to start playing. So once we click start, then the game is going to start loading in. So just wait for that to finish. And now we are finally into the Genshin Impact game. So one thing I highly recommend doing is changing the graphics settings because we're locked to 30 FPS to begin with. So just click on the top left icon to go into the system settings and then click on the cog wheel and then change some of these settings here under the graphics menu. I am going to keep mine to medium because it can be quite demanding emulating this game, but I'm going to change the FPS cap to 60 so I can get a better frame rate. So I recommend that you familiarize yourself with the control somewhat. On the top right hand side, there's a little keyboard icon where you can go ahead and toggle the hotkeys. So these are kind of hotkeys which are mapped from the keyboard and mouse onto the touchscreen emulation layer. And you can also toggle this by pressing shift and tab to see the defaults that have been loaded up already. The next thing is full screen mode. So you can enable this by clicking on that top right hand icon. This is the maximize view button. You can also press function and F. And the next thing is that if you want to lock your mouse to the screen so you can enable mouse lock, then you want to toggle the F1 key. So on most Mac keyboards, you want to be holding down function and then press F1, and then that's going to lock the mouse to the screen. And then just do that again to toggle that off and on. Next up, we're going to have a quick look at PUBG Mobile. One of the main pieces of advice is not to use your main account for this because there's a risk of being banned. The other thing is that if you want to use keyboard and mouse controls, then make sure to change the vehicle settings to single joystick. Also with the on-screen controls, I found it better to use the 720p version of the controls, which seem to map more accurately. And also I didn't use the high graphics preset. I used medium instead because high seemed to cause some kind of graphical issues, especially around trees. And basically once all of these settings are done, we seem to be getting playable online frame rates with good keyboard and mouse support. Next, I tested out the game Pokemon TCG. So this is the trading card mobile app version of the game. This all seemed to work fine. So obviously this is a touchscreen game, but with the mouse emulation, this basically allows us to open up packs of cards and help fulfill your Pokemon card collection addiction. And speaking of Pokemon, I was also able to get Pokemon Unite up and running. This is the Pokemon MOBA-like game designed to be played on a smartphone or a tablet, but running here very well on on our Apple Silicon Mac. Lastly, we're looking at the mobile version of Minecraft. Now this is different to the Java version of Minecraft, which runs great on Apple Silicon Macs. Unlike that version, the Bedrock version, which is the mobile port, is able to connect with other smartphone, tablet, and console players. This also means that you get access to things like the marketplace, and you basically get access to everything that the smartphone, tablet, and console versions all play with. So here we've cranked up the settings as high as we can, and it seems to work pretty well. There are limitations, of course. These are the ones inherent to the basically smartphone version of Minecraft. If you want to find out how to install the proper Java version, then make sure to click on the link in the description. So anyway, that is my look at BlueStacks Air running Android mobile games on the Apple Silicon Mac. I hope you found this video interesting. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.